Joseph, it's you. Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. So guys, this Jonathan Major situation seems to be back in full swing. Disappeared. Now it's back again. And it seems now way more heated than before. The last thing we talked about here is how his management team, PR team, all were trying to cut ties with him, including Marvel, who might be possibly replacing his character as Kang. Um, they're looking into having Damson Idris play that character. I don't know if that's official yet as far as the character change in that series, but people are concerned. And you might be wondering why. Well, because the same thing happened with Johnny Depp. Before they reached a verdict, people were already trying to distance himself from Johnny Depp and later on probably regretted their decision once Amber Heard was proved to be a liar. But we don't know how this case is going to turn out. But here's the shocking thing. Jonathan Majors might have some proof. He might have some proof that may actually prove his innocence in this whole situation. And this is major because in the last video I was stressing, I was like, man, listen, the best thing you can do if you're in a relationship today with the woman and you might be in a situation where the woman gets violent with you because that's, that's what happened. That's what Jonathan Majors claims happened in his situation is to pull out your phone and record. And he claims he has proof. But first, the most recent updates. This one that reads, Jonathan Majors faces additional problems as more alleged victims cooperate with the DA's office. So guys, this is nothing new. You know, whenever uh, a guy gets accused these days, whether it's um, Me Too, SA, whatever it is, you have women who come out of the woodworks and say, hey, Me Too, All right? Um, could be true, could be not. We'll see. I'm leaning towards women seeking out an opportunity when they see a cash grab, a money grab. And guys, I'm not saying I know exactly what's going on in this situation, but we know what this is about. In the end, all these lawyers, all the judges, everybody involved right now is getting paid off this man's pockets. And like I said in my last video, the more reason as a man today, you should be aware of of yourself, your actions, your environment, the people you keep close. Are they liabilities? Are your decisions a liability, etc.? And guys, we're going to get into that proof by Jonathan Majors here, starting with this headline that says, Jonathan Majors' lawyer speaks. After more alleged victims come forward, we are confident this will be fully exonerated. And then came the proof. So the first post is this post, which shows his girl at the club handing somebody something. I don't know if she's getting a shot, a drink, celebrating the night. And this allegedly happens to be the night she claimed that Jonathan Majors got physical with her. Hold on, I need some coffee. And so the headline reads, Jonathan Majors claims his ex-girlfriend was not assaulted after new photo of her in the club are revealed. Next was this bit from an article from TMZ that read, Jonathan Majors says the man who was driving him and his now ex-girlfriend Oh, well, good. He broke up with her. The night of their alleged incident will testify the actor did not strike her. So he's saying my driver will prove that she's lying about me striking her. So guys, it's either the woman is lying or Jonathan Majors is a liar. What are you guys leaning towards? And he claims there's video proof she was not injured when she went out to a club after their altercation. And so here are the photos and there's more. Here she is at the counter, two drinks right there. It looks like she's chilling, right? There she is again. They have her circled in. And my question is, if it was that serious, why go to the club right after? Why not um, go home, recover? Is this how somebody who claims that her man got physical with her reacts after that? After that maybe it is. You guys tell me we're in this together, right? We're looking at the proof that was provided by Jonathan Majors. Is this? Now repeat what I said in my last video, which was do not for a second think that this chick is an angel. What is very obvious here is that this was a very toxic relationship situation. In most cases like this, situations where people are fighting over a phone and, 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 and a guy might be cheating and she wants the phone and she's yelling at you, chasing her. We can't sit here and act like, oh my gosh, really, bro? Come on. We know this stuff happens. The difference is what? Jonathan Majors is in the spotlight. But the question remains, who's the victim here? And the incident, is she or is he? Because he's claiming he is the victim. 
And while it may be easy to look at a muscular black man and immediately think to yourself, well, um, how could you let a woman like that take advantage of you? And while it may be easy to believe all women or believe what this chick says right off the bat, um, people have to remember that there's no platform out here that advocates for men other than independent platforms like this one. And you're going to see this as we keep um, looking at more information here. But what do the people have to say about this newfound evidence? Well, let's check out this first comment from a gentleman that reads, do you know how many people I know that have gotten into physical fights with their partners, wiped their face, changed clothes, and still went out, dot, 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 together? With the question mark, he goes on to say, so her going out for drinks with a friend doesn't means she didn't get choked and y'all know it 1500 likes and guys this was the top comment these comments are brought to you by hollywood unlocked that's where i'm reading these comments from and it's important that you guys remember this it's important that you remember where these comments are from because their audience are modern woke women most women like majority of people on Instagram anyways are women, but they're modern women, black women in specific. So why is this important? Let's keep reading. This next comment from another woman says, if he didn't do it, now would be the time to start sharing what he can and save himself because if it's a lie, it's costing him a whole lot. His whole career is currently on the line for sure. Here comes another comment from another person who says, better leave those white women alone. With the laughing emoji, 2,000 likes. See, you're going to see more of these type of comments. There's another comment from another black woman who says, when they go and learn to stop messing with white girls, they'll bleed you dry, leave you there. And another comment here from another woman says, yeah, you're going to have these issues on that side of the color spectrum, my brother. Here's what I find very fascinating about this. For a while there, if you guys remember... Black women loved Jonathan Majors. And part of me thinks they loved him, most of them, because they didn't know that he was dating a white woman. Chisha, why is that important to you? Well, as somebody who has very honestly spoken about the whole interracial dating thing and said like, while I may understand, listen guys, I'm not naive, I get it. Dating outside of your race as a black man does pose some challenges. I'm not going to act like there's no truth to what these women are saying. I still don't think, one, people should take the attitude of, oh, because you date outside of your race, then you deserve everything that you get. Or in this specific situation, the Jonathan Majors deserves this. Because while that may be true in some cases, I don't think in the majority of cases, this is often the case. A lot of the time, social media likes to highlight the extreme side of things. What am I saying? A lot of these women want Jonathan Majors to be proven guilty, not because they're looking at the evidence, which is largely biased, leaning towards women, of course. We live in a gynocentric society, but also because he's a black man who was messing with a white woman. The second thing is you'll never hear me ever support um, interracial dating or talk down about interracial dating. I'll say if you're lucky enough in this life to find somebody who cares for you, loves you, who gets along with you, and whoever that may be, you are a lucky person because this is the most difficult time to date more than ever. My main point here is keep in mind not everybody's coming into this situation unbiased. And you could say not even myself because I'm pro men. Let's check out this next comment from a woman that says, y'all don't kill me in the comments, but go to TMZ. It tells the full story as to why those pictures are important. Here's where everybody needs to pay attention. Here's why the pictures that Jonathan Majors shared as proof are important. Here we go. She said he broke her finger. That's one. Scratch her behind her ear and after got out of the car, she went drinking all night. Right. Then she went back to their place and called him 32 times and texted him a bunch of which he never said that he hit her. Then he got back to their place at 11 a.m. and she was passed out. Oh, 
and the driver stated that while Jonathan Majors was getting attacked by her, he didn't hit her back or even yell. He probably knew that like, uh oh, right? If he's telling the truth, I would assume that he thought like the, that the worst thing I could do right now is retaliate physically. He goes on to read, he just asked him to stop the car. He's talking about the driver and he got out. So this post is leaving out a bunch. So again, this post is brought to you by Hollywood Unlocked. Hollywood Unlocked, which was founded by Jason Lee. And from what I know, Jason Lee, from what I've seen, is just my own personal um, observation. He tends to lean towards like um, more liberal points of view. Here's a photo of him with, I'm forgetting this chick's name, Tiffany Haddish, you know. Um, that's Jason Lee. That's the founder of Hollywood Unlocked. He knows his audience. He knows the women who were in there and they probably left that out of their post for a reason because they're trying to cater to their audience. So let's go back to these photos, man. If we go back to these photos and look at the photos of her hanging out, she's reaching over, grabbing uh, an item there by the DJ. She's over there drinking and hanging out on the phone, texting. She's using both of her hands. It doesn't look like any of her fingers are broken if your fingers would be broken you'd go to the emergency room you'd go get um help and so if she actually did say that he broke her finger and these photos were taken after the fact that will prove that she at least lied about that and if she can lie about that is it possible that she can lie about a lot more we'll see real quick let's check out this uh article from tmz that the chick was talking about. I'm just going to read a little bit here just to get some clarifications. It says, Jonathan's attorney, we're going to start with the second paragraph because I already read that first one. Jonathan's attorney, Priya, filed docs Wednesday in Manhattan, informing the court the driver witnessed what went down between Jonathan and the woman back in March. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, the driver saw the woman assault majors around 1 a.m. on March 25th while she was attempting to steal his phone. And so, Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because we're, we're reading this thing together. Sounds like she started it. Sounds like she started with saying, hey, let me see your phone. And he said no. And so what did she do? She got physical trying to get that phone. It goes on to say further, the Creed 3 star says the driver will testify he never struck the alleged victim in any way at any time or even raised his voice. My thing is... He didn't have to say he didn't raise his voice. So why add that you didn't raise your voice? If you're somebody who's getting attacked by a chick and you don't um, retaliate and you didn't raise your voice, you're exhibiting a very um, you know good level of self-control that's needed for that situation. Goes on to say Majors and his attorney also say the driver saw her hitting, scratching, and attacking Jonathan. And that Jonathan asked the driver to stop the car so he could escape her attack, which he did. Last paragraph here says the woman allegedly told police she suffered a broken finger and laceration behind her ear during the altercation. So let's say the laceration was real. Could it be that between the tugging of the phone and him trying to get out, she could have gotten her back of her ear scratched? Maybe a possibility. That's definitely a possibility. It goes on to say, however, in the document, Chandri says, I don't know if I said that name right, they have proof that's a complete lie. That's a complete lie. And so this proof seems legit. And from the looks of it, we'll probably change the trajectory of where things might go. That's what I think. I think one of the best things you can do is have proof. If he has video proof of the actual situation, that would be even better. Like I say, guys, if you're ever in this situation, just pull out that phone and start recording immediately. But this this should change things. Why? Because from the looks of these photographs and everything, she was lying about at least the broken finger, right? When it comes to the situation, man, I can't help but be a broken record. I can't. She was obviously a liability in his life. You as a man have to know how to recognize a liability. And his decision making was also a liability. I don't know if he likes toxic women being in toxic relationships, but there's obviously some bad decision making on Jonathan Major's part that he has to take account for. But with that being said, I do think it's crazy how all these people are making judgment calls and um, acting like he's been pronounced guilty when the case is still ongoing. 
as far as we're all concerned. Here's my question to you. What do you guys think of this new evidence? Comment down below. I'm curious to know what you think. As always, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.